Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about the isotopes of the elements. In our previous video, we learned about the structure of an atom. And natutunan natin that atom is composed of a nucleus and electrons. So, let us have a quick review. Let's say this is our nucleus. And outside our nucleus, we will find our electron, which are the negatively charged particles. And inside our nucleus, May kita naman natin yung positively charged particle which is what we call a proton. And the number of proton inside the nucleus is equal to the number of electron outside our nucleus. And this is what makes our atom stable. Because we have an equal number of negatively charged and positively charged particles. But we also learned that inside our nucleus, hindi lang pala proton ang nandun. Meron din tayong tinatawag na neutron which is neutral or there is no charge na binibigay itong ating particle na neutron. And if you remember, I mentioned in our previous lecture that the number of neutron inside the nucleus varies depending on the isotope of the element. And this is what we're going to talk about today. Ano ba itong mga tinatawag nating isotopes? Well, we learned in our previous discussion about the atomic structure that all atoms of a given element have the same number of protons. And that means that they have the same atomic number. Okay, so hindi nagbabago yung atomic number ng ating mga elements. Because every element have its specific number of protons. But experimental study shows that in most cases, all atoms of a given element do not have identical masses. And this is where our question starts. Because sabi natin kanina, bawat element have the same number of protons. Therefore, they have the same atomic number. So, if that is the case, how come atoms of the same elements are having different masses in spite that they have the same atomic number or number of protons? So, natutunan natin that atomic number indicates the number of protons in the nucleus. While yung tinatawag naman nating mass number is the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. Huwag din natin kakalimutan yung natutunan natin on the previous video that the mass of the electron is relatively small compared with the mass of protons and neutrons. So therefore, kapag nag-uusap tayo tungkol sa mass, mas consider lang natin yung mga particles natin na nasa loob ng nucleus and that is neutron and proton. Since napakababa ng mass ng ating electron in comparison sa ating proton and neutron, so, let us take that away dito sa ating discussion. Dahil ang pinag-uusapan natin, bakit ang element na pare-pareho yung number of proton or the same atomic number ay nagkakaiba-iba ng mass? Well, as mentioned earlier, the mass of the atom is due to the protons and neutron inside the nucleus. So, ang ibig sabihin, kahit na magkapareho pa ang number of protons nila, kung magkakaiba naman yung number of neutrons nila, posible na magkaroon tayo ng pagkakaiba sa mass. A given element may have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. So, let us have a look itong figure natin dito. As you can see, meron tayong apat na protons and apat na neutrons. So, let's say I added additional neutron dito sa ating nucleus. So, as you can see, pareho pa rin yung number of protons natin. And the number of protons represents our atomic number. So, dahil por pa rin ang ating number of protons, the atomic number of this element stays the same as atomic number 4. Although, nagkaroon tayo ng additional na isang neutron. So, therefore, dahil nadagdagan yung ating neutron, they will not have an identical mass. So, magiging mas mabigat yung ating atom dahil nadagdagan siya ng isang neutron. And that is what we called isotopes of an element. These are elements having the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. And to understand that, let us have this example. Let us talk about the isotopes of hydrogen. So, let's say this is our nucleus. And inside our nucleus, we have one proton because we are talking about hydrogen. And we know that hydrogen has an atomic number of one. So, therefore, meron lang tayong isang proton sa loob ng ating nucleus. And the number of proton is equal to the number of electron outside our nucleus. And we know that this electron is orbiting around our nucleus. Okay, so as you can see on this example, 
wala tayong neutron na nasa loob ng ating nucleus. Well, this is an isotope of hydrogen which is what we call protium. So, natutunan na natin itong atomic nomenclature natin. Ano? Our superscript 1 represent our mass number and our subscript 1 represent our atomic number. So, dahil pareho silang 1, which means our mass number is equal to 1 and our atomic number is also equal to 1. Okay? So, para hindi tayo malito, katulad ng natutunan natin last time, yung superscript natin is our mass number and our subscript is our atomic number. Now, let us consider another isotope of hydrogen. Let's say this is our nucleus and inside our nucleus, of course, we still have one proton because we are talking about the element hydrogen which is having only one proton and represented by atomic number one. And outside our nucleus is our electron which is orbiting around our nucleus. And then on this isotope of hydrogen, meron tayo ditong neutron sa loob ng ating neutron sa loob ng ating nucleus. And this is an isotope of hydrogen which is what we call deuterium. So as you can see, yung superscript natin is equal to 2 and yung subscript natin is equal to 1. So therefore our mass number is equal to 2 and our atomic number is equal to 1. And then we have another isotope of hydrogen. Let's say this is our nucleus and our proton inside our nucleus and our electron outside our nucleus which is orbiting around our nucleus. And on this case, we have two neutrons inside our nucleus. And this is an isotope of hydrogen which is what we call tritium in which as you can see, it is having a mass number of 3 and atomic number of 1. So, kahit pare-pareho yung ating atomic number, which is 1, that represents the number of proton na nasa loob ng ating nucleus. So, yung iba't ibang isotope natin, pare-pareho yung kanyang atomic number. Pero, magkakaiba yung kanilang mass number because nagkakaiba yung number of neutrons sa loob ng ating nucleus. And that is what we call the isotopes of the elements. Now, all of these isotopes of hydrogen occur in nature as mixture of isotopes. And of course, hindi lang hydrogen ang merong isotopes. So, we have here other examples of isotopes of some elements and their corresponding abundance in nature. Okay? So, naipakita na natin yung ating hydrogen. Carbon also have isotopes of carbon-12 and carbon-13. So, makikita natin dito na mas abundant itong ating carbon-12 which is 98.89% and carbon-13 is just 1.11%. So, nitrogen also have um, isotope-14 and isotope-15 in which mas abundant itong nitrogen-14. Oxygen also have these isotopes, oxygen-16, oxygen-17, and oxygen-18 in which ang pinaka-abundant is itong oxygen-16, which is 99.759%. Now, element sulfur also have these isotopes, 32, 33, 34, and 36, in which ang pinaka-abundant is itong um, sulfur having um, isotope 32. No? So, of course, Hindi lang naman to yung mga element natin na may isotope. So, marami tayong isotope of our elements. So, we're just giving you some example of that. But we also have to take note that not all isotopes are stable. Some are radioactive and are continuously decomposes to form other elements. Well, later on, pag-uusapan din natin kung ano ba yung tinatawag nating atomic mass. Because if you look at our periodic table, makikita natin meron tayo doon tinatawag na atomic mass. Now, knowing that we have different isotopes, then how do we determine kung ano yung ating atomic mass of a given element? So, pag-uusapan natin yan later on sa ating mga succeeding topics. Well, I hope nakatulong sa inyo guys itong ating lecture for today. Thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na i-upload namin.
we are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.